Hello viewers, I'm Sadia Khan and you're watching YouTube channel Learn with Sadia. In this video, we will read a 4 marks question for a TS Inter first year botany subject. Okay, here the question is give a brief account of dinoflagellates. Now we will see few important points regarding dinoflagellates. Okay, coming to the first point dinoflagellates belong to kingdom protesta okay they belong to kingdom protesta here the keyword is protesta moving to the second point they are photosynthetic organisms which are mostly found in marine environment okay so dinoflagellates they belong to kingdom protesta then the next key keyword is photosynthetic dinoflagellates protesta dinoflagellates are photosynthetic and where are they found they are mostly found in marine environment clear so moving to the third point they appear in various colors okay these dinoflagellates appear in various colors like yellow green brown blue or red depending on the type of pigments present in their cells so these dinoflagellates are exhibiting different colors based on what based on the pigment present inside them so third point is about the color so here we have an example red dinoflagellates like goniolax of mediterranean sea okay so red color dinoflagellates by name goniolax we can see them in mediterranean sea this is the point now moving to the fourth one the outer surface of their cell wall has stiff cellulose so outer surface of the cell wall is it is having one stiff cellulose very hard cellulosic substance on it moving to the next point they have two flagellae one lies longitudinally and the other transversely one lies longitudinally and the other transversely so how many flagellae do we have we have two flagellae so fifth point is about flagellae moving to the next point the flagellae produces spinning spinning movements so these are called as whirling whips these flagellae are producing spinning movement so they are given a special name called as whirling whips so both fifth and sixth points are about flagellae only the nucleus has condensed chromosomes how the chromosomes are present in the nucleus they are present in condensed form the nucleus has condensed chromosomes okay Moving to the next point, due to the absence of histones, nucleus is called as mesocarion. Okay, usually in the inside the nucleus, proteins called as histones will be present in a cell, but in dinoflagellates, histones are absent. That's why nucleus is called as mesocarion. Okay, due to the absence of histones, nucleus is called as mesocarion. Okay, then marine dinoflagellates like noctiluca they show bioluminescence, they emit light. Okay, marine dinoflagellates like noctiluca show bioluminescence. The next point toxins released by dinoflagellates may harm to animal cule so dinoflagellates they are releasing toxins and these toxins are harmful to animal cules clear so here we can see fifth and sixth point they are about flagellate that we have two flagella one is existing one is present longitudinally and other transversely and the flagella is producing spinning movement so these flagella are called as whirling whips then we have the next point nucleus has condensed chromosome histones are absent that's why nucleus is called as mesocarion marine dinoflagellates like noctiluca show bioluminescence dinoflagellates are uh, emitting em they are also releasing toxins which are harmful to animal cules with this i conclude my video hope this was a fuse to you and if it was a fuse to you and you want more of such four marks or eight marks or two marks questions kindly mention that in comment section thanks for watching kindly subscribe